Donald Trump. As you may know, he continues to lead the GOP presidential field by a significant margin in all the national polls, causing consternation among some Republicans. Mr. Trump will be protesting against the Iran nuke deal tomorrow in Washington, and he joins us now from his headquarters here in New York City. We'll get to the nuke deal in a moment, but first, I want to know what you think about this migrant crisis in Europe. Uh, 800,000, it looked like, will have to be settled in Germany alone. What do you think started that? Well, it's a serious problem. We haven't seen anything like it since the Second World War, and it's getting worse and worse. And I was actually impressed in one way, but surprised that uh, Merkel in Germany allowed this to happen because they're really flowing through all over Europe. And if you notice, uh, Russia's not taking and China's not taking and the Gulf states, whether you look at Saudi Arabia or Qatar or any of them, they're taking none. But some of them are and some of them are actually being very generous. Uh, it just really I wonder, you know, where all these people are coming from exactly and what are they representing? Because do you have people from ISIS in that group? You know, there's a lot of security risk with it. But something has to be done. It's a, an unbelievable humanitarian okay. problem. Israel's not taking any. Britain's taking a few, maybe 5,000. You know thousands will come to the United States of migrants. Now, do you object to migrants who are getting out of the Middle East and North Africa? Do you object to them coming to the USA? I hate the concept of it, but on a humanitarian basis with what's happening, you have to. You know, this was started by President Obama when he didn't go in and do the job when he should have, when he drew the line in the sand, which turned out to be a very artificial line. But, you know, it's uh, it's living in hell in Syria. There's no question about it. They're living in hell. So you would and have intervened. Has to be done. Had you been a president, you would have intervened in Syria. You would have removed Assad as the president of that country. Well, you know, Obama said he was going to do that. And the problem you have is that Russia is on his side. Iran is on his side. And lots of other things but can happen. But what would you have but done? Would you have been very strong? After and the you gas, know the amazing. After the